Hi guys, so I received some, something today that I've been really looking forward to and I managed to um, resist opening the package for the whole day. Um, so um, this is a Boss, new looper from Boss called RC10R. I want to do this video to unbox and show you what um, this thing looks like right out of the box. Um, when I looked around, I couldn't find much. So there's one of many. So the first thing I noticed is that the packaging is actually really well done. I can't imagine that the pedal is that size. So I'm supposing that it's just lots of padding to make sure that the thing is safe on its way here. There you go. So right I am. So this is a bit stuck in there. Um, another thing I noticed is that my name is Miss Top. But hey, it got here, and ultimately, I don't blame him. That's a tricky name. So, so it looks maybe not padded, but fairly well protected. Oh, that's pretty beautiful. So, another thing I notice is that it's not in any way sealed in that um, it was there was no sticky tape or, 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 or some sort of a stamp that kept it together uh, manual um, looks like little nobbies for the bottom of the pedal so it doesn't slide I really struggled to find one of the manuals um, in electronic form online I managed to find one um, by searching specifically for it, but it takes a little bit of an effort. Um, there's a nice power supply here that um, seems to be a little bit more sophisticated than, than what you would normally um, get. It's original Boss power supply. And, and here is the pedal itself. So really the, the box is packaged in a way that seems to be quite secure and protective anyways. Let's have a look at what that looks like. So straight away, you see that it's a little bit chunkier then your little kind of basic looper. Um, say, for example, or I should say for comparison, here's a Nukes pedal. So next to, next to the boss, kind of looks tiny. And next to the Nukes pedal, the boss kind of looks chunky. Um, so let's plug it in and see what it can do. Let's see. Well, by now I've seen a couple of videos and um, kind of get a basic idea on um, what to expect. I'm going to be plugging it in through, so the guitar will go through port HD500X straight into the looper in stereo and um, weird thing the only way you can get it in stereo is two XLR uh, sorry two um, TRS cables I should say TS because they're mono um, and to, to get the fullest kind of HD sound, I prefer to have plugged into the headphone jack. So, need to have a bit of a weird cable for that one. So, maybe I should plug it in first so the output will go into my speaker, and that's a Behringer um, powered speaker. So, it seems to be already on. That's the volume of it. And 
I do appreciate the silliness of having one speaker and stereo output. There we go. Um, and let's do the same with the input. We'll go left and right. And there we go. And then let's plug into power. And now let's get a little bit of volume. So right out of the box, it seems to be already, I think in sync, I think to sync, you hold both, is that right? I'm not hearing anything, let's see. that works so far don't know how much you're going to hear I'm using my mobile phone to record so how do you sync it so I'm going to to try just press buttons and see what happens Okay, so I pressed and held Rhythm and it showed up blue and from what I've seen in the videos I think that means that it is going to be in sync. Let's see. And that's out of sync. I got it. Alright.
Oh, that's so good. So if I stuffed it up, then I can always go back. So here, if I want to start it again, I kind of wait to the end of this section. See you now.